Silly Sunit playing more Nova Drift. And I think I'm going to try to get the Turbo Tortoise achievement. Which, if you don't know, is to get a cooldown for the Bastion Shield. Of 3.5 seconds or less. So we definitely want things that involve... Priority zero is fine, yeah. Shield cooldown and construct speed. We obviously take Architect because it has a 50% assembly speed increase, and Bastion has an advanced construct type, so priority zero will assemble, will increase our assemble rate for advanced constructs. Same reason, it's a loud traffic. Don't let that pass on by. Same reason we will take Elegant Construction here, increases the assembly speed of constructs and by a flat 10% and increases it by 0.4% per level. So every level we gain will increase our assembly speed from now on. Overclock doesn't really help us here. I'll take the hull increase though. I'll also take the speed increase. Energized shields does not help us here. It is 5% faster shield cooldown, but it's also down 7% construct assembly speed, so that's a net negative. I will take the hull regeneration, though. I'm not sure if I want to take the shield regeneration. I'm not sure how that works. That counts towards assembly speed. I think it does. So I may want to stick away from it. Tactical Link would be fine. That's just an 8% hull damage resistance for me and the shield. But I want the shield cooldown even more. And flash shielding. So let's get that. Do I want Juggernaut? Maybe. Do I want to just winnow though? Could just winnow. More rerolls is good. We're going to need to search for mods. And getting rid of these mods, most of which I don't actually need. Kinetic Boost is okay. Heavy Caliber I don't want. Juggernaut I might want. I don't want Shield Constructs. I can't take it. Don't want Targeting. Don't want Propulsive Munitions. Let's take the Winnow here. we have other mods we want to see could get armor could get candescence go down the burn tree what else evolutionary niche would also be good here essentially we would be boosting our Construct assembly speed by 5% per niche taken.
trying to think of anything else we might want. There's the armor. Volatile shields is something too. More max shields, but it does more damage when the shield detonates. Beyond its normal ramming damage. I think I just want the armor though. Tactical link again would be nice though. Uh, strafe, shield effect radius, overclock. Not exactly the most exciting. I will want support specialist for that 20% uh, construct assembly speed. But let's. Hmm. Let's take the magnitude here. I will need to do some decent damage. And I might eventually give up my weapon, truth be told, but for now I really need some damage. Hypermetabolism could help. But I don't know if it's necessary here. Oh, I thought I killed you. Pardon me. Go chase these down for a bit. It's a nice convoy. That was handy. Come on, you can die anytime you want. Flash shielding. Do I want obsession? Yes. Discharge. We can deal with some discharge here. We're going to want. If we take him power, which we very likely will, I assume him power doesn't get rid of our shield. Do I want core shielding? Sure, we'll try it out. Almost get myself killed there, that's less than ideal. myself out. That's okay though, we almost have it dead. I can't give up my shield, that defeats the purpose of this run. Tactical Link is just 8% hull damage resistance to both me and the Construct. Let's try going around. Their support specialist, faster assembly speed, and rate of fire, but 2% less hull and shields.
wouldn't mind getting streamlined Tempest Break here. That's a shield cooldown boost. Combine that with a few evolutionary niches and that might be just enough. We'll see. Sometimes I wonder if I should try this using the research by method. Removing lots of mods that I don't want. And then switching to architect could be a better choice. If this run doesn't succeed, I may very well try that instead. We shall see. Efficiency. When you're not firing 20% faster shield cooldown, that is perfectly fine with me. I'm not going to take any construction specialization because that hurts my shield. Do I want conversion? I mean, sure. I'll take a conversion here. This is a decent regression. I don't like giving up the burn damage is the main thing here. But getting rid of the other constructs, which I'm not going to take, that's fine. I think I take the burn damage though. Purification gives me more shield recovery for each ignited enemy. It decreases my weapon damage, but if I take hidden power, I'm giving up my weapon eventually anyway. I took magnitude just because I felt I had to do some way of doing damage. But I think hidden power is going to be helpful here, but uh, we'll see. I also don't know quite how it handles construction. It may in fact be very stupid to take it. I don't know if it leans more towards it's a shield so we're going to let you keep it or it's a construct so it has to go. I guess if we need to take it and we have to uh, just to get the cooldown we need, we will. And then we'll find out one way or the other. I think I go Corrosion here. I don't want Rebuke, I want to keep my armor stacks. Whole plane would be nice. But I think I want the Corrosion. This is when I worry about discharge and worry about taking that conversion, but we'll see. It doesn't have to survive till the end. I almost didn't survive that fight. <laughs> Stayed far too close too long. But it doesn't have to survive. It just has to get that construct assembly speed to 3.5 seconds. After that, we don't particularly care about this run anymore. It's, it's done. Galvanic Outburst doesn't help us here. <sighs> There's Purification. Essentially trading initial weapon damage for better burn damage. Don't get bounced around too badly, please. Alright, time to get out of here.
whoop, that's uh That's uh almost killing me again. I swear I need to get better at fighting this boss. I need to go into the debug mode and just summon this boss and fight it with different combinations of weapons and go from there. What do we want here? Volatile shields. It does more damage. It could be very useful. Ahem. Or do I just want the plating? Let's get some plating. At least I killed it in time to get that experience before the singularity rolled in. Orbs of Discord could be useful. I don't have too many wild mods, but... It's another way of dealing damage. And I could really use that about now. I could very much use that about now. Let's check real quick. What's our shield? Do, 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 do. Okay, we're up to 4.82 seconds. We need 3.5 seconds or below. So we're close, but as with many of these things, it's that last mile that is the most challenging. So what else do I want? I definitely want... Oh, hello. I definitely want to look for Streamline to get Tempest Break. That will help. Anything else? A lot of enemies. There's hidden power. But there's also improved thrusters. Hidden power. Removes all weapon and construct mods. Have we gotten all of our construct mods we need? Support Specialist and Elegant Construction are the main ones. Overseer could help here too. But that's a... 10% faster shield cooldown. That's more than Overseer. But do I need them both is the question. Well, I guess let's see if this ruins the run or not. Apparently not. All right. Urge force armor is good. I want that improved thrusters to get down to streamline though.
The nice thing about the orbs of discord is, even when my shield is down, I still have something doing damage to the enemy. It's not a lot of damage, but it's damage. Oop, that's a, a lot of being bounced around. What's regression get me? Just one. Let's do Deadly Wake instead. Again, I need some better methods of doing damage. You know what? I'm going to try to go over here. You can just pay a visit to Friendly Singularity over here. You are annoying. I may very well need volatile shields here, but I'll take the streamline. It gets me down towards Tempest Break. Probably going to dig for it next time. Try to stay behind this enemy, pretty much. Try being the operative word here. Wait for my shield to come back. Doing burn damage with discharge triggers the regenerative properties of purification, so I actually get a little bit of shields back by applying more burn damage. That's nice. Did not expect that to work out, truth be told. I really did expect to die there. There's Tempest Break. 30% faster shield cooldown effect power and thrust, but less max shields. As long as you get your shields back up quickly enough, you're, you're fine. Let's look real quick. What are we up to? Shield cooldown is at 3.73 seconds. Oh me. So close getting bounced around far too much by this. Get over here for now. Uh, do I need hypermetabolism? Let's get better shields for this. Trying to get just close enough to use my discharge on them. That was stupid. I have made so many very, very unwise decisions with this one. But I haven't died from them yet, so... Streamline is definitely affecting how much I get thrown around here. One down. Still far, far too many to go though. Tempest Break will help a little bit here. Ah, 
Okay. And an even worse one. That's... Do we do quantum decoherence here? Just hoping that extra levels help us enough to hit 3.5 seconds? I think we do. I guess... Okay, we can get two of these now. The bravado would also be useful. I think evolutionary niche times two is 20%. And there it is, turbo tortoise achievement. I almost didn't make it, but I did. At this point, you can kill me. <laughs> release me, release me. From my suffering here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Comet, take it out for me. Comet, you, you failed me. You did some damage. Yeah, th this build is far from ideal. What did we finally get down to? 3.41 seconds. Good enough. Do we want regenerative shields? Or oh, which shields up our whole regenerates at only half effect? That's not incredible. Don't know what else I'd want here though. Purge? Purge is at least some more damage if I run into the enemies. Bastion can make for a decent uh, crash build. So maybe? I don't know. We do a rampage. Let's do a rampage. Let's have fun. Now, how did that affect my shield cooldown? It's still even lower. Okay. Skirmish, I guess, for the crash damage. Seraph. Dying star. <laughs> sure. Ah, uh, too much to bear. 
Well, we achieved our primary goal. And that is every achievement in the game for me. So hopefully I gave you a few ideas if you want to try it for yourself. Perhaps with a bit better piloting than I have. But nonetheless, thank you all for stopping by.